Antlers, 2021, Movie Synopsis by Ziller Movies Recapped A Wendigo kills Kenny Glass and Malls Frank Weaver as the two males make meth in an deserted coal mine. The legendary monster's chunk causes Frank to start a sluggish transformation into one other Wendigo. Believing his feral father could be saved if he completes the metamorphosis, Frank's 12-year-old son Lucas secretly retains Frank captive inside their distant home, partly to guard his 7-year-old brother Aiden, who ultimately begins his personal transformation after Frank assaults him. Having left City 20 years earlier to flee an abusive father, recovering alcoholic Julia Meadows returns to Sispis Falls to work as a schoolteacher. Julia briefly strikes in together with her brother Paul, the city's present sheriff, which sparks a number of confrontations as a result of their troubled childhoods and Julia feeling responsible for abandoning Paul. Primarily based on the boy's disturbing drawings and his unusual story a few household of hungry bears changing into monsters, Julia takes in curiosity in Lucas's well-being. Whereas making an attempt to bond with Lucas and investigating his dwelling life, Julia turns into involved that Lucas and his brother can also come from a damaged household. Native American and former Sheriff Warren Stokes finds half of Kenny Glass's mauled corpse whereas mountaineering within the woods. Police later find the opposite half within the coal mine. Stokes collects an antler and notes native wards hanging all through the mine. Julia reveals Lucas's unsettling illustrations to Principal Ellen Sales Space. Regardless of preliminary reservations about interfering, Ellen agrees to go to the Weaver home and communicate to Frank about his son. Upon getting into the house, Ellen finds Aiden in an alarmingly raveled state. Frank savagely slaughters Ellen. A Wendigo then bursts out of Frank's physique. Classmate Clint Owens tries to bully Lucas on his stroll dwelling from faculty. Now remodeled into the Wendigo, Frank viciously assaults Clint unexpectedly. Lucas flees dwelling to seek out his brother Aiden lacking an Ellen sales space ripped aside on the ground. Julia tries convincing her brother that Ellen and Clint's disappearances could also be related to Frank Weaver. Paul and his deputy, Daniel Lecroy, briefly go to Frank's home, however depart after discovering nobody dwelling. Julia goes again to the Weaver home on her personal. Discovering Ellen's automobile exterior results in the invention of her physique inside. Paul and the police additionally discover the weird husk of Frank's human physique. Lucas is distributed to the hospital to be handled for malnourishment and bodily abuse. Julia and Paul argue over Julia's impulse to turn into Lucas's guardian whereas his case will get sorted. Julia and Paul take Lucas's drawings to Stokes. Stokes reveals the antler he took from the mine as he recounts the traditional legend of cannibalism cursing individuals to turn into creatures. Paul finds the Wendigo story too fantastical to imagine as an evidence for the brutal deaths. Julia and Paul deliver Lucas to their home. Julia tells Lucas that his father died. However Lucas claims his dad was reborn and that so long as he's fed, Frank will love him once more. Lucas provides that Frank will come to take him to the mine with Aiden. Noises lead Daniel to analyze the shed exterior the Meadows home. Dan finds Aiden hiding simply earlier than the Wendigo all of the sudden kills Dan from behind. Paul rushes dwelling in response to Dan's name. The creature violently assaults Paul. As Julia helps her brother get better, Lucas follows Aiden and the Wendigo again to the mine. Julia drives to the mine and confronts the creature to save lots of the two boys. Having a change of coronary heart about what actually occurred to his father, Lucas finally helps Julia deliver down the monster. Julia cuts out the Wendigo's cursed coronary heart. Julia and Lucas OBS. Irv Aiden present process his transformation into the subsequent Wendigo. Lucas insists Aiden is merely sick. Julia manages to persuade Lucas that it's too late to save lots of his brother. Julia apologetically embraces Aiden earlier than stabbing him to dying. Antlers is a 2021 supernatural horror movie directed by Scott Cooper, and stars Carrie Russell, Jesse Plemons, Jeremy T. Thomas, Graham Greene, Scott Hayes, Rory Cochran, and Amy Madigan. The screenplay, written by C. Henry Chasen, Nick Antosca, and Cooper, was tailored from Antosca's quick story, The Quiet Boy, initially revealed in Guernica Journal in January 2019.
The movie follows a college trainer as she suspects one in every of her college students is affected by private issues in his dwelling life, not figuring out that the scholar is harboring a harmful entity in his home. The challenge was introduced in July 2018 with Cooper hooked up to direct, and the solid becoming a member of the subsequent month. Filming befell in British Columbia in October and November 2018. Antlers premiered at Past Fest in October 11, 2021, and was theatrically launched in the U.S. on October 29, 2021, by Searchlight Footage, after being delayed twice from an April 2020 launch date because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The movie acquired combined evaluations from critics, who praised the cinematography, performing and the horror components, however lamented the screenplay's underdeveloped themes. Plot within the small city of Sispis Falls in central Oregon, Frank Weaver runs a meth lab out of an inactive mine. Whereas his seven-year-old son Aiden waits exterior in his truck, Frank and an confederate are attacked by an unseen creature. Three weeks later, 12-year-old Lucas Weaver, Frank's eldest son and Aiden's older brother, spends his time roaming the city, amassing roadkill and killing small animals earlier than taking them dwelling. Lucas's trainer, Julia Meadows, is alarmed by his unusual conduct and scary drawings, and makes an attempt to bond with the troubled boy. She begins to suspect that Lucas is being abused and turns into decided to assist him, spurred by her personal expertise of childhood abuse by the hands of her mentally unwell alcoholic father. Since her father's latest suicide, she returned to Sispis Falls to be together with her brother Paul, who's the native sheriff, and whom she feels responsible about abandoning when she was youthful. Julia visits Lucas's rundown dwelling and hears unusual sounds. A flashback reveals Frank survived the assault, and arrange a locked room within the attic after returning dwelling with Aiden, who was additionally attacked, demanding that Lucas ought to preserve them locked inside it doesn't matter what. Lucas is feeding his sickly, and now ravenously feral father and brother with the animal carcasses he retrieves. Half of the stays of Frank's confederate are discovered within the woods by former Sheriff Warren Stokes. Paul and Warren later uncover the opposite a part of Frank's confederate within the mine together with part of an antler. In the meantime, Julia pressures the college principal Ellen into paying Frank a go-to. Ellen discovers the room the place Frank and Aiden are locked up, which she unlocks and enters. Frank kills Ellen earlier than antlers burst out of his physique. Frank, now remodeled right into a savage antlered creature, kills Lucas's faculty bully Clint Owens when Lucas is harassed by the boy. Ellen is reported lacking and Julia visits the Weaver home, the place she finds Ellen's automobile. The police arrive and uncover Ellen's physique together with Frank's, which is now a charred husk. Aiden is nowhere to be discovered. When Lucas returns dwelling, he's taken to the hospital, the place Julia and Paul are informed he's severely malnourished, dehydrated, and reveals bodily indicators of getting been abused for years. Julia decides to let Lucas keep together with her. The subsequent day, whereas Lucas recovers with the end the hospital, Julia and Paul pay Warren a go-to and present him Lucas's drawings. Warren identifies the determine as a Wendigo a legendary Algonquin creature that seems as a ravenous, cannibalistic spirit and jumps from individual to individual. It might solely be killed when it's weakest, as it's feeding and to extinguish its beating coronary heart. Clint's physique is found that night time. Lucas is discharged and learns that Frank is useless. He tells Julia that Frank is coming for him, to take him all the way down to the mine to be with Aiden. The remodeled Frank makes use of Aiden to lure Paul's fellow sheriff Dan out and kill him. Julia and Lucas disguise whereas Paul is badly wounded. Lucas escapes to the mine and Julia and Paul observe, armed with a pistol. Inside, Julia discovers Lucas and Aiden, and sees that Frank has certainly turned into a Wendigo, presently feasting on a useless black bear. After a combat, she kills the Wendigo possessed Frank with Lucas's assist. The Wendigo spirit passes into Aiden and Julia stabs Aiden to dying, seemingly ending the curse. Some day later, Paul and Julia focus on protecting Lucas with them for some time regardless of considerations he might turn into possessed as effectively. As Julia and Lucas depart, Paul begins to cough up a black bile, as Frank had when first possessed by the Wendigo. Desires to say many issues, ends up saying nothing. 
steeped in darkish, grim and brooding ambiance but failing to capitalize on it to totally realize its ambitions. Antlers begins on a promising observe however it does not take lengthy for the movie to devolve right into a irritating slog. It tries to be too many issues but does not have the self-discipline or readability to ship the specified items. There's loads it needs to say but has no concept methods to articulate it proper. Co-written and directed by Scott Cooper, Black Mass, the story does create the best type of intrigue with its foreboding thriller however the human drama that unfolds is just not solely bland but in addition inauthentic. Cooper is uncertain of what street to take and performs with a number of concepts hoping some would in some way stick. The stability between its style components is off, and the themes aren't correctly dealt with both. On the plus aspect, the creature design, Gore results and moody camerawork is price a point out however the plot and characters do not have that gripping high quality to it that will make us care. Nonetheless, the actors do what they will to make the journey worthwhile however it does not quantity to quite a bit ultimately. The issue lies with the script itself that required extra fine tuning to determine its identification and what themes to deal with or discard. Total, Antlers strives to be a supernatural horror rooted in indigenous folklore an allegory about unresolved trauma, drug dependency and little one abuse, and in addition an environmental parable, all on the identical time, but falls remarkably quick on almost all fronts. Its premise had potential however its execution is dry and directionless, thus leading to a tedious and disappointing style fair that in an effort to say a number of issues finally ends up saying nothing in any respect. Moody and efficient, albeit underdeveloped in some regards. Antlers, follows Julia, a recovering alcoholic who has returned to her hometown in rural Oregon and moved into her childhood dwelling to be together with her brother, the city sheriff. Upon accepting a job as a trainer on the native elementary faculty, she quickly takes discover of one in every of her college students, Lucas, whom she suspects resides in an abusive home. However, the key Lucas is harboring is way more advanced. I'm not somebody who sometimes loves creature options or monster motion pictures, whether or not they're woven with folklore or not, so I used to be undecided how I'd take to this movie, regardless of it showing to have excessive promise. I have to say that I used to be pleasantly stunned by it, whereas it does veer into full-fledged creature horror within the final act. It additionally has plenty of different fascinating issues taking place in it. There is a subtext of drug dependency and little one abuse on the core of the story, with the Native American Wendigo story functioning as a way of exploring this theme. It's a distinctive concept, although the theme does really feel as if it's considerably half-baked, virtually as if the screenwriters have been uncertain of methods to thread it throughout. A evident instance of that is the shared historical past of abuse between Carrie Russell and Jesse Plemons characters, siblings whose father was obliquely abusive. There are quite a few references to this, and the abuse appears to weigh heavy on them. However the historical past is rarely totally fleshed out. The place the movie is way better realized is in its cinematography and ambiance, which is dense, mossy, and virtually rotten feeling. Its bleak visuals match its themes, and the Pacific Northwest setting is dreary and efficient. Stable performances from all the solid additionally assist enhance the movie with Russell and Plemons giving excellent performances, in addition to Rory Cochran, Graham Inexperienced, and Amy Madigan offering equally unbelievable supporting performances. Moreover, the particular results are high caliber and efficient, without veering into absurd CGI territory. The creature seems actually menacing, and the violence disturbing. Total, Antlers, is a strong, well-acted, and well-shot movie, and definitely top-of-the-line horror movies of 2021. Whereas its themes do really feel underdeveloped at instances, they nonetheless stay profound, and the movie is characterized by a bleak, dense ambiance that's arduous to shake off.